In order to carry out the calibration, the reference oil must be warmed to approximately 50 degrees Celsius. To do this, I immerse the reference oil bottle in a water bath for about 10 minutes. For the calibration, the sensor must be completely clean. I switch on the tester and call up the menu. To do this, I press the hold button for about 2 seconds immediately after switching on. Using the hold button, I navigate through the menu to calibration. With the arrow buttons, I select yes and confirm with the hold button. Now the reference oil is warmed, I take it out of the water bath. To distribute the warmth more evenly, I briefly shake the bottle. Be careful! The oil may not come into contact with the water. I now immerse the sensor into the reference oil. You should not touch the oil bottle with your hands, as this would negatively influence the accuracy of the calibration. The display now lights up in orange. I start the calibration and adjustment procedure by pressing the hold button. In order to record the measurement value more quickly, I move the sensor in small circles in the oil. The display now lights up in red. The TPM value as well as the temperature value are shown in the display. As soon as the display lights up in green, the measurement is ended and the TPM value as well as the temperature value are frozen. I now compare the measurement value with the target value. This is stated on the reference bottle label. My tester's deviation is considerably less than 1%, so I don't carry out any adjustment. If the deviation were more than 1%, the instrument would need adjusting. In order to adjust the measurement value to the reference value, I would use the arrow buttons and then confirm the value with the hold button. I now exit the configuration menu with the on-off button. The cooking oil tester is ready to measure again.